My child, I speak to you clearly. You hesitate in following my guidance. You doubt the wisdom I have imparted, wavering without decision. This indecision is a choice in itself, the wrong choice. I have lit a fire within you, fueled by the gifts I have lovingly placed in your spirit. Yet still you struggle to trust, both in my voice and in your own ability to walk the path I illuminate. You plead for confirmation, but true confirmation requires faith. I will guide you, but you must take the first steps. Know that I have ordained your every footprint along this journey. I am intricately invested in all aspects of your life, great and small. Trust in my total sovereignty, for I am accomplishing my good purposes even through your doubts and failings. Why do you yet resist partnering with my power at work within you? Fan the flame of your gifts into an inferno. When you step out, I will lift you up. I can accomplish infinitely more through your obedient trust than your anxious toil ever could. You have allowed the words and labels spoken over you by others to bind you up, muzzling your voice and vision. Cast off these shackles. Boldly claim the freedom I have provided for you. There is always a way forward with me. The time for procrastination has passed. Your continued inaction exacerbates this challenge I have set before you, which will only grow more unmanageable the longer you tarry. But take heart. In love I exhort you, for now is precisely the hour in which I stand knocking at the door you have been requesting me to open. You need not rely on human capabilities, be they your own or another's. And trust this calling entirely to my provision. I do not change. My promises are sure. If I have spoken it, you can stake your life upon its fulfillment. Hope anew in my unfailing covenant loyalty. Just as young David needed no armor or battle strategy of man to fell the giant, so too will I amplify your voice to resound with potency. Age-old strongholds will crumble at the decree of my words through your mouth. Step forth boldly. Do not look to any mortal for qualification. You have already been equipped and approved in my son. My healing shall be made fully manifest in your body as you receive this pronouncement by faith. The searing pains of injustice will be cooled by my restorative waters flowing through vessels yielded to my spirit. What I have destined as compensation will reach its rightful recipients in due time. Anchor your trust now in this promise I breathe over you. Fear no longer the stumbling uncertainty of your speech, for I shall fill your mouth with my words which shall never return void. Your voice will thunder with transformative authority and power, as did my prophet Jeremiah's of old when I touched his lips. For some receiving this, I see how you grieve. Perhaps you have recently lost a mother or dear loved one, your sorrow has exhausted mind, body, and soul. But I declare over you, this is the day your mourning ends. Be comforted, for my spirit has come alongside you as counselor. Receive my peace. Others hear me speak regarding household disputes and legal battles. Be still, for I have already decided the outcome in your favor. I am turning the key in this changed lock. What I have spoken I will surely perform. Rest in the certainty that I am intricately involved in every aspect of your life. Not one word of loving direction falls void, nor will my steadfast companionship ever leave you lacking in strength. Determined trust in me is never misplaced. Journey now with fresh vision, speaking my promises into being. My child, I am already accomplishing more than you can ask or imagine through a willing vessel such as you. There are moments when my guiding voice seems absent to you, my beloved. The clamor and chaos of the world erupt into ear-splitting static, drowning awareness of my gentle whispers. But know this, I am always present in speaking. The disorienting cloak of darkness which descends at certain seasons of life is simply meant to intensify your focus upon my unchanging light ever shining. 
Instead of panic and worry in these bewildering times, fix your gaze fully on me and listen for me within. Yes, the trials and tests of seasons like this are painful and confusing. You will be tempted to interpret discomfort as abandonment. But have I not already proven my faithfulness to sustain you time and again? I am orchestrating redemptive purpose even in the thin spaces of understanding. Where human logic fails, cling tightly to my character and promises. As storms encircle round, do not dwell on swirling chaos. Instead, recall, remember, recount the many rescues and provisions I have accomplished on your behalf. For they foreshadow the mighty deliverance swiftly coming. Mine is the incomparable name to be exalted above all. I alone render the sinister schemes of enemies utterly powerless. So arise now from paralyzing fear. Boldly proclaim my lordship decreeing my authority over every sphere of life and dominion. As you declare truth in obedient trust, strongholds which oppose my loving intentions are demolished. Stand unwavering upon my word's sure foundation, shelter safely in the shadow of my wing. I am granting divine strategies and favor to turn mourning into dancing, ushering triumph out of what the enemy meant for harm. Hold tightly to the vision I have spoken over previously barren places soon to burst forth with long-awaited blessing, healing, and life. Take courage, for the appointed hour of deliverance is near. My overflowing goodness is already on its way to meet you. Covenant promise compels me to care for you as the apple of my eye, the treasure of my heart, the delight of my soul. I will never forsake my beloved. Days quickly approach when you shall gaze back upon this thorny wilderness valley, recalling my faithfulness alone. The lessons learned here shall reap a harvest of strength, wisdom, and deeper intimacy with me in seasons ahead. I am sanctifying character fit for carrying heavier measures of anointing and authority. You are continually becoming more fruitful soil where my glory and power grow unhindered. Lean into me, precious one. Allow this shaking to drive deeper roots of resolve, trust, and obedience. As you yield wholeheartedly to the refining fire of present tribulation, you emerge as pure gold, a more potent conduit for my rivers of life to heal. I am preparing you for a weight of wonder, favor, and influence unprecedented, catapulting you into long-awaited promise. The threshing of this hour and season shall give way to sevenfold recompense and rest. Remain ever near to me, resting in the shadow of my wing. Here continue developing sensitivity to the sound of my voice, learning nuance and inflection uniquely your own. Our growing dialogue establishes foundations, enabling you to partner powerfully with my heart's desire and design for regions beyond. Hear and obey the specific blueprints I impart to you. Keep in step always with my spirit. Never forget you are simply a vessel through whom my rivers flow. Pride has no place in my presence. Walk humbly and wholeheartedly devoted to me, yielding daily to the work of my spirit within you. This is the narrow road to the heights of heavenly authority I am calling you into. I am honing you into a sharp threshing instrument, separating wheat from chaff, light from darkness, life from death across multitudes. The fire and power of my anointing accompanies bold proclamation of my word, confirming the release of angelic hosts to establish my kingdom reign uncontested across lands. Truly I declare your mouth shall resound with world-altering authority and favor in the glorious days just ahead. But for now, continue developing character able to steward the acceleration of kingdom assignment soon to overtake you. Abide in the restraint of my ripening season a little longer, my beloved. Your labors here will quickly bear immeasurable harvest and reward. But worry not over attempting to discern the precise vision fulfillment timeline, my impatient one. That is not your concern. 
Learn to rest simply in the unfolding of today's faithfulness to each task at hand, knowing my tomorrows already contain your every breakthrough and release. My orchestrating hand accounts for every detail so perfectly interweaving stories and timetables of earth and heaven as to make your head spin. Faith rooted in my changeless nature always bears its peaceable fruit in due season. Fret not over perceived delay of promise, but rejoice in catalytic power of process to deepen dependence on me alone. For only through intimacy with my heart of love are you transformed sufficiently to contain measures of glory now descending upon you. Remain steady through this threshold hour of history and unlock the personal destiny simultaneously converging upon you. For behold, the hour is coming and now is when my spirit's fire is upon yielded temples to unveil the fullness of Christ in and through you to the world. But all in proper time, beloved, all in due time, for now let your ear lean in closer to my whispering heart of love. There is no need to strain so anxiously ahead. Be still, drink deep, and rest securely within the gentle quiet of this moment's presence with me.